What's up? I'm Vin, and I'm going to prove that in a triangle, the largest angle is always opposite of the largest side. And to do that, I'm going to prove that in this triangle here, ABC, that if side AC is greater than side BC, then the measure of angle ABC, which is the angle opposite of AC, is going to be greater than the measure of angle BAC, which is the angle opposite of side BC. Now, since we're starting with the assumption that AC is greater than BC, what I'm going to do for this proof is I'm going to extend the shorter side so that it is the same length as the longer side. So I'm going to extend this side over here. So we'll just go back and go to point B and extend it like this in a straight line so that this new line segment here is going to be equal in length to AC. And we could say that this is possible because AC is the longer side. Okay, so we're just going to extend the shorter side so that it's equal to the longer side. And then I'm going to connect point A to, we'll call this point D. So let's just say what we did over here. So we're going to extend BC and we extended it through B to point D. Okay, so we extended it through B to point D so that we have AC is equal in length to side and we'll say DC. Okay, and the result of this is now we have an isosceles triangle and we could say that this angle here is equal in measure to this angle here. So we're just using the, the isosceles triangle theorem. So we'll just write that down. Therefore, triangle, we have triangle ACD is isosceles. And we could say from here, since we already said that these two sides were equal, so this triangle is isosceles, and we could say that the measure of angle CAD, that's this angle over here, is equal in measure to we have angle D. Okay, and angle D I could just say with one letter because it's the only angle happening at this specific point. So from here, let's think about how we could relate the angles. So we're targeting this angle over here. We have angle ABC and we have angle BAC over here. Okay, so I'll just get rid of the other highlighted stuff. So our goal is to show that this angle here has to be greater than this angle over here. So let's think about how we could relate this angle to the other angles that were drawn here. So next I'm gonna use the exterior angles theorem. I'm just gonna put a theta over here like this. And I'm gonna say that theta plus the measure of angle D is equal to the measure of angle ABC. Okay, and this is true by the exterior angles theorem. But now from here, what we're allowed to say is we could say that the measure of angle ABC is greater than the measure of angle D. Because if you think about it, the measure of angle ABC, we could find by adding theta plus the measure of angle D. So if we just get rid of theta, theta is this angle over here, that automatically just makes the measure of angle ABC greater than the measure of angle D. So from here, now we could focus on this angle in the corner here. So we have angle CAD, we could say is the sum of these two angles. But before we write that, let's just make this a little bit cleaner. We're just gonna write a therefore here. And just in case you've never seen this notation, the three dots means therefore. So because of this, we could say that it's gonna follow that this angle here is greater than this. But now let's go ahead and make that statement next. So next we could say that the measure of angle BAC plus, I'm gonna say theta, is equal to, we have the measure of angle CAD, okay? So we have the measure of angle CAD. But now, notice what we have written over here. We said the measure of angle CAD is equal to the measure of angle D. So now we can make a substitution. So we could say that this implies, and I'll just say above here by substitution. So by substitution, we could say that the measure of angle BAC plus theta is equal to the measure of angle D. Because once again, this triangle we made into an isosceles triangle. So this equation here is true. So now we're gonna use the same idea as before. If we get rid of theta, if we subtract theta only from the left side, that tells us that the measure of angle D is greater than the measure of angle BAC. Okay, so from here we could say, therefore, the measure of angle D is greater than just the measure of angle BAC. 
But now let's think about what we said a moment ago. We said the measure of angle ABC is greater than the measure of angle D. And then we just said the measure of angle D is greater than the measure of angle BAC. So if we combine these two ideas together, this would tell us that the measure of angle ABC is greater than the measure of angle BAC. Now just know the name of the property that allows us to say that is the transitive property, but it's the transitive property specifically for inequalities. So now I'm gonna prove the converse. I'm gonna prove that in a triangle, the largest side is always opposite of the largest angle. And to do that, I'm gonna prove that in triangle ABC, if the measure of angle ABC is greater than the measure of angle BAC, then AC, the side opposite of the big angle, is greater than side BC, which is the side opposite of the smaller angle. So to do this proof, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw in a line segment from point B, and I'm gonna connect it to side AC in such a way that the measure of the angle over here, so this angle, is gonna be equal in measure to this angle, okay? And we could do this because we're assuming that ABC is the bigger angle. And I'm gonna call the point that this line segment makes contact with AC, I'm gonna call this point D. So I'm just gonna say what we did. I'm gonna say we're gonna construct BD, and I'm gonna say with point D, so point D is on side AC, and I'll say that what's gonna happen here, we're gonna say this happens such that the measure of angle BAC, so the measure of angle BAC, that's this angle over here in the corner, is equal in measure to angle, we'll call this one ABD, okay? So angle ABD. So now what we just did is we created an isosceles triangle. So in an isosceles triangle, when you have equal base angles like this, that means that the sides opposite of those base angles are also equal in measure. So I'm just gonna write that next. I'm gonna say after this, that AD is equal to BD, and this is true by the converse of the isosceles triangle theorem. So now from here, our goal is to create an inequality where we have something greater than BC. So I'm gonna target this side, BC, in triangle BDC, and I'm gonna use the triangle inequality theorem. I'm gonna say that BD, so this line segment here plus the length of this line segment, DC, has to be greater than BC. And this is true by the triangle inequality theorem. Just know that in a triangle, the sum of any two sides has to be greater than the third. But now from here, think about what we just said a moment ago. We just said that AD is equal to BD. So now I'm gonna make a substitution here. I'm gonna replace what we have over here. I'm gonna replace BD with AD. So let's just see what we have. So I'm gonna say by substitution, so by substitution, we can now plug into this inequality here. We're gonna say that AD plus DC is greater than BC, okay? So we make this substitution, but now think about what was just said here. We just said that AD plus DC is greater than BC, but let's think about what does AD plus DC give us? This gives us the entire length of AC, okay? So this is the segment addition postulate here that when we add these two parts together, it gives us the entire line segment. So now we could say that the conclusion here is going to follow by the segment addition postulate. So now we could write the conclusion to this proof. We could say, therefore, this tells us by this equation over here, we can make the statement here and say that AC is greater than BC. Okay, so we're just doing this by substitution. Okay, so we're using substitution here and this will conclude the proof. Okay, so this theorem is a two-way street. We could say that the largest side is always opposite of the largest angle, or like before, we could say the largest angle is always opposite of the largest side.